Okay, <clears throat> I want to wrap up uh, chapter one or book one in Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics um, by just reviewing everything that we've been talking about, namely happiness, desire, character, rationality, all these things. Remember, human beings are teleological creatures. We all act for ends. All of our choices act for ends. And the one end we're always seeking is happiness. And what we think happiness is, is uh, determines our moral character, okay? And determines who we are to a certain extent. And what we think happiness is depends not only on what we take delight in, what we really want in life. And a lot of people have a lot of disagreements over what happiness is and have all kinds of different ones. Only certain people are actually happy. So happiness has a lot to do with that, but it also has to do with the conception of human nature that you have. Okay, if you think human beings are one thing, your happiness is likely to um, line up with that. So uh, the important thing there is to recognize that theory and praxis are related. That is, the theoretical and the practical. They come, they come to meet in this, in this idea about happiness. Because a lot of people, uh, it's not as though people are thinking about this all the time, but... Uh, People generally, have, unless they're completely unreflective, have some sense of what they're doing in the world and what they want out of life. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I think most people, Aristotle has a section in, in um, uh, book one, section five, where he goes through different three types of life that most people live, and he doesn't even include money in there. I was going to say most people think happiness is money, but Aristotle says, eh, nobody wants money just in itself to be like... Um, the TV show or the cartoon DuckTales, where Scrooge McDuck would go swimming in his money. Nobody wants money for that. Money's always a means to something else, usually power uh, or pleasure. And so Aristotle thinks there's basically three types of life. There's the pleasure life, the, the life of hedonism. There's the political life or the life of status or power. And then there's what he calls the good life or the contemplative life. So these three types of life, he thinks, there's really only one... They, they answer basically uh, uh, the... The question of what is happiness. Most people, in fact all people, Aristotle thinks, fall in line and fall into one of these three categories. Either they're living for pleasure and their God is pleasure. They're living for power and status and their God is what other people think of them, how other people esteem them. That's why he calls it the political life. Or they're living the good life or the contemplative life or the thoughtful life or the life of the mind. The bios theoreticos is what, he, what, he, what it is in Greek. The life of uh, the the theoretical life or the contemplative life, and so Aristotle thinks that really there's only one way to get happiness right and two ways to get it wrong. So people in their aim often aim for pleasure or power or power or pleasure or power, uh, or they get it right and aim for happiness. And what your aim is in life determines. Uh, who you are, what you desire, what you want. These are the same thing for Aristotle. There's a famous uh, verse in the Gospel of Matthew. I think it's in the Gospel of Luke as well. But uh, he says, Don't lay up for yourselves uh, treasures on earth where thieves can steal and moth uh, can eat and uh, rust destroys them, but rather lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where thieves can't steal and moths can't eat and there's no rust. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And this is, I think, what Aristotle is saying, that... What is your treasure in life? What do you really want in life? If you want to be good and live the good life, or do you want power or pleasure? And so the rest of the book will be, based on the function argument, trying to work out what happiness is and how to be happy based on the idea of human beings as rational animals, right, as moral creatures, and um, uh, that we uh, that the good life is something like the rational life and that happiness is an activity in the soul in accordance with reason or virtue.